What's good with everybody? I'm Big Brother Jay. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. And today we're talking about three easy ways that you can lose weight with minimal effort. Number one, just take a deep breath and relax. You ever step on the scales and wonder, why does your weight fluctuate so much? If you're on a weight loss journey, these constant fluctuations in weight can make it hard to accurately track your progress. Plus, it can also be deflating to see, especially if you're sticking to a specific training program like using the best exercise machines to lose weight or you're taking down those shakes with the best protein powders for weight loss and not seeing the results that you'd expect. But that doesn't mean that you are making progress. In fact, there could be a range of reasons behind this weight fluctuation other than fat gain. It's normal for weight to fluctuate. Weight gain does not mean anything besides just that you gain weight. It doesn't mean that you're less attractive. It doesn't mean that you're any less strong. It simply means your body is adjusting to a changing routine. And that's okay. Your routine, your lifestyle, and needs should change week to week, season to season, year to year, and so should your body. Stress over weight gain is worse for your body than a bag of potato chips or that carton of ice cream. So try not to feel guilt, shame, or stress. Instead, know that your body is doing what it is supposed to do. And if you want to lose weight because you feel less connected to your body and overall just less healthy, then I recommend that you, well, I commend you for knowing that your body well enough to know what it needs, but prioritize losing the shame around weight gain before losing the weight. Number two is to stop weighing yourself so often hopping on a scale is a regular part of your routine and despite it being an inanimate object the scale may be something you have a pretty intense relationship with is the scale let's say ruling your life does the number on the scale read that it reads dictate how your day will go or how you will feed or move your body whether you interpret it as a good or a bad number in the long run when yourself will likely have a negative influence on self-care behaviors, not to mention contribute to low feelings of self-worth. Why do you weigh yourself? What is it that you're looking to get when you step on that scale? If you're feeling guilty about eating or exercise, you might look to the scale to check and see how bad you were or how much you need to compensate for how bad you were. Or if you're really feeling good, you might turn to the scale hoping for that validation. Often there's a fear that wearing yourself is the, is the thing keeping exercise and eating in check. And without it, you would just get out of control. But here's a little PSA. You'll see the most drastic changes when you enjoy healthy habits for both the mind and body, rather than thinking that you have to do them for weight loss. You'll stop hating yourself when the scale isn't moving quickly enough, and instead will naturally look, feel, and be better when you give yourself the patience, trust, and self-love it requires to achieve health goals. When you're focused on a number on the scale, you naturally feel more stressed, restricted, and end up disappointed. Instead, focus on how you feel to measure where you are. Don't rely on the objective number to tell you how you are supposed to feel. Number three is to drink more water. You've likely heard this your entire life. A drink of water is one of the building blocks of good health, and that's definitely true. But on a deeper level, proper hydration helps your brain stay alert. Your functions, your cells function as they should and your exercise performance reached the highest levels and you know the dangers of dehydration, brain fog, feeling tired, exhausted, etc. But there's another benefit to water too and that's weight loss. Dietitians tend to recommend drinking water as one of the building blocks of a lifestyle that can lead to healthy weight maintenance. Oftentimes, water is pushed to those seeking weight, loss, seeking weight loss because there is a belief that water can fill you up, leading to eating a little less often or a little less volume come mealtime. So because you're filling up on water, the theory goes, you'll be less likely to snack and you can better control your hunger. Plus, when you are hydrated and eating foods that have high, wire, high water content, you are more likely to have better hydration overall throughout the day to help manage your weight. Poor hydration can mean that your body continues to seek out fluid through the foods that you are eating though. 
which is sometimes why people feel as if they may eat less when they have water before or at a meal. Think of water more as a maintenance tool, not a not like a magic trick for weight loss. Rather than trying to use water to mask your hunger, use water and drink it throughout the day regularly in an attempt to prevent feeling of thirst and then ha and then enjoy having better appetite regulation throughout the day. If you implement the tips I've laid out in this video, you'll be surprised how easy it is to reach your weight loss goals. It's me, your boy, Brother Jay, and I appreciate you taking time out your busy day to spend with me. I got all my little social media links in the description just in case you want to spread the love. Right now it's just kind of TikTok, YouTube shorts, but we're working on it. Stay blessed, and we're going to get that together. I'll be here all week.